Crafty Vicky here with you and I'm here for day number 18 and I'm using this time around a sample that I got as part of a big um, I shared with you guys just watching of this um, it was part of a, a big haul that I did on eBay and it had a bunch of different samples and one of them was this Noodler's um, ink which is called Cayenne and I'd heard about it from Goulet Pen then mentioned how amazing that ink was so I'm very I was very anxious to try it out and so it worked out really good that um, there was some in the package now we will I'll turn this around because I would like to use the rest some red on there it's a reddish orangey so I'm curious to see how it's gonna come out in a pen I'm using my Coeco student uh, and I forgot to put a, an ink cartridge like a um, converter in it ah uh, shoot okay so that that is not good um, I wonder if uh, my I know it's not the right size but I wonder if the Coeco the the small Coecos if it would work if it does then we'll use that and there won't be as much ink as I had hoped but that will still be okay and I've got extra little ones like that it doesn't really well I think it should be okay okay so I will have to change find a new converter for that one but at least I don't have to stop the can making the film and and go and find another converter and the whole shebang because I really don't want to do that so I've got the cayenne sample here and uh, hopefully this pen will fit in Oops. Oh, I've got some ink coming in. I want to do a full fill because it's a really tiny converter and it's a reddish ink so I'm good with using this uh, even if it is cr for Christmas time. But yeah, I forgot to put a converter. Oh well. It happens. What can I say? So that's to start the chromatography then we'll do the splotches there we go put that in okay and let's bring you guys down so you can see the splotches better I'm just gonna put a little bit I don't want to waste this you can see the orange in this but it's quite you can see orange but there's a lot of red as well which makes sense because cayenne that's what I think of when I think of cayenne is red and uh, a reddish item so here we go so I'll put that to dry and we will do our writing samples I can close off my little vial before I go and make a boo boo and I still have a little bit so I might refill I might refill this pen once it's finished just so that I empty it out completely and I don't have to wash another pen with it eventually because uh, it wouldn't be fun to just waste it so noodlers cayenne and we're day 18 and I'm using a Coeco 
Student. And it's the 70s Soul Edition, and it's a fine, I believe. No, it's an extra fine, which is why it's... Uh, which is why it's so scratchy. Oh well. I got this uh, pen on um, Facebook Marketplace uh, from a lady that is a collector and she lives close by so it kind of worked out good. And I really wanted th this pen because I wanted to try other Kuwekos but now that I've got one it's, they're not pens that I would collect um, not like the the AL sports and the the other sports and uh, that's the writing so it's 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 orangey but not orangey as in like it can pass more of as a red than an orange type of ink I find so here's the chromatography so you can see there's a lot of pink and then orange and a bit of yellow it's pretty it's pretty chromatography and then this is again the splotches and then uh, the inks that I thought might be similar were the this one is Fox Red from Noodlers. You can see it's a lot more red. And then there's this one which is the Sailor Ink uh, 50 States and it's the Virginia. Those were the closest I had. They're not the best but I don't have any other inks that is close to that color. Uh, which is really interesting. It's so fun to have such different range of ink colors and, and to see them react in different ways like that. So always a lot of fun. So hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you guys for day 19 tomorrow. Bye!